In this video, I'm going to show you how to flash a generic firmware onto the phone. Right now, it's running a 2.3.3 um, build 181, and this is a Rogers branded ARC. Um, there are currently four different generic firmwares online. There's a generic I firmware for uh, international phones. There's a generic A firmware for North American phones. There's a generic UK firmware. And there's a generic, slightly customized Hong Kong uh, firmware with a uh, Chinese support. So download one of those ROMs. And this works on any Xperia Arc. It doesn't have to be rooted, and your bootloader doesn't have to be unlocked. Um, as always, you have to have PC Companion and Update Service installed and updated. And if you're using Vista or 7, you should turn off user account control. Once you've done that, Go to the Flash Tool website. This is the same Flash Tool as for the X10 and download the Flash Tool. Um, I've had trouble with 2.9.1 so I, I'm using 2.8. So once you've done that, start the Flash Tool. Unzip it and start it. Make sure you right click and run as administrator as always. And it's going to pop up the Flash Tool. Click on Flash and choose the firmware. So right now I've got a Rogers firmware and I've got the North American generic. Uh, doing this as always will uh, wipe your phone and install a new operating system so make sure you back up everything first. So I'm just going to click on OK and it's going to tell you to connect uh, the phone in flash mode. So hold the back button, turn off the phone, the phone's off, hold the back button and plug the phone in. You're going to see a green light. It's going to install the drivers if it hasn't already. And then it, the flash tool is going to pick up your phone and install. Again, this works on any Xperia Arc and you can flash any firmware onto any phone. Um, if your phone is already unlocked, you will not lose the unlock because unlocking is permanent. Uh, you will, however, have to root the phone again. So just use uh, Ginger Break or watch the other video. So once it's connected, it's going to pick up the flash and uh, start flashing the phone. This takes approximately uh, five minutes. So once it's done flashing, Unplug your phone and hold the power button to turn it back on. After flashing your phone, the first time you turn it on, it'll take a while because it has to rebuild all the files and the cache and uh, other things in the background. Uh, so just be patient. As you can see, the phone booted up and uh, there was no Rogers logo because this is a generic uh, North American firmware. So now I'm just going to start up the phone. Once you flash the uh, generic firmware, you are going to have to enter in your uh, APN settings again uh, to get 3G access. So just go into settings, wireless and networks mobile networks and uh, access point names. You're going to have to enter it in or you can go on the market and download uh, APN backup and restore. So just Google for your um, Google for your APN settings for your specific carrier. I've, 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 I've also included a link to download uh, the Rogers APN settings if you don't want to uh, type it in manually. So as you can see it's 2.3.2 and build 181. So that's the generic firmware. Now I'm just going to flash it back to the Rogers firmware. Power off. In another video, I'll show you how to make a backup of your branded uh, firmware from your carrier. So in case you need to flash back uh, for warranty purposes. So, I'm just going to go back into the flash tool again, 
and click on Flash and choose the Rogers firmware and click OK. Again, I'm going to hold the back button and plug in the phone. Green light and the flash tool picks up the, f the phone and starts flashing. I'm just going to start the clock again. Flash, flashing is now complete, so just again unplug the phone and start it up. As you can see, since I flashed back the uh, Rogers firmware, there is the Rogers boot logo. The phone started up because it's a Rogers ROM. There's English Canada. And if you just, I'm just going to skip setup. But you do see the H because the APN information is already installed because it's a Rogers ROM. And there are the Rogers uh, apps. So that's how you flash the phone uh, to a generic ROM and back to the Rogers ROM. Again, in a future video, I'll show you how to save your carrier specific or branded ROM uh, using an update service. Once you've done all this, you can go to Ginger Root or the other video and download Gingerroot and flash your phone and root your phone.